Hey folks, this is Darren Marlia over at SDM Software. And I wanted to do a quick video to uh, show you some updates that we made to our uh, ADMX to DSC uh, script, PowerShell script. So um, if you remember uh, from the original version of this script, we I built a, a script that uh, essentially took the contents of the registry.pol file, which are typically administrative template settings that exist in group policy objects, and essentially suck those out using uh, one of the group policy modules uh, commandlets called get GP registry value, and uh, converted it into a DSC document. So I just want to show you quickly, I, I did an update to the script that worked on a bunch of different things, one of which was to convert it into a PowerShell advanced function, which you can see here on the screen, um, called convert to ADMX to DSC. A little unwieldy name, but we'll work on that. Um, and the script does a bunch of stuff better, faster, stronger, to handle different scenarios. And the reason I got to rewriting this, well, one is that Kevin Sullivan, who works here at SDM, uh, was kind enough to take this script and create a PowerShell advanced function out of it because my PowerShell skills were so lame originally. Um, so I incorporated his advanced function syntax um, but then I also did a bunch of changes to the code to handle some additional scenarios. So one thing that many of you may or may not know is that in addition to administrative template policy, the registry.pol file actually holds other policy area settings. To be specific, it holds Windows Firewall and App Locker or software restriction policy if you're not living in an App Locker environment. So registry.pol holds policy settings from all three of those areas. And what that means for this script is that we can take GPOs that contain Windows Firewall settings like this guy here. You see here I've got some Windows Firewall setting that has an inbound remote desktop rule. called The GPO is called Firewall 1. And if I go up here in my list, I also have a policy called App Locker Test. And this one has some app locker rules in it. So um, I can take both of these GPOs, and by virtue of the fact that they store their settings in registry.pol, I can use my handy dandy ADMX to DSC PS1 file to convert those to DSC documents. So let's take a quick look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and run this script. And, and actually, what it does is it brings me this function convert. ADMX to DSC, as you can see it down here. And right now I'm calling it with the GPO name, which is Firewall 1, that's our firewall example, and set, telling it to where to put the resultant uh, output file that gets created, the resultant DSC document. So I'm going to go ahead and run this, and it's run now. So if I go ahead and look in here, the resultant um, file actually gets named with the name of the of the GPO. So if I do firewall1.ps1, there's my file. And if I go ahead and open that, this guy right here, you'll see that what it's done is it's taken my um, firewall rule and the registry values that underlie that, and it's converted them into a couple different registry resources within the uh, configure the DSC document. And this document's ready to run, so if I were to run this right now, it goes ahead and creates a MOF file. Oops, I did a directory of it rather than running it. So you'll see here it's created a MOF file. By default it's set to localhost, but you can go in and edit that with configuration data or whatever you want. Great, so now I've, I've created that example here. Now let me try a different example. Let me go ahead and run my convert ADMX to DSC, and I'm going to use that app locker test GPO. So app locker test is the name of the GPO. Bring that up here so we can all see it. And now if I go ahead and open the app locker test, you'll see it created that DSC document, app locker underscore test dot PS1. And we've got a little bit more complexity, but nonetheless it's created all of those app locker rules as DSC registry resources. So I'm I'm essentially I've recreated my app locker policy in a DSC document and I can then deploy this to my targets. 
So really handy. Um, Script's been around for a while, now updated to fix a bunch of issues, um, especially with, as I was playing around with AppLocker, with, with a lot of special characters and all kinds of funkiness. I ran into a couple issues parsing that that I needed to uh, essentially fix, so that's done. So head on over to GitHub slash GPO guy, and uh, bring this page over here and you can see it. If you go to GitHub GPO guy and then ADMX to DSC, you'll see the script right here and you can go ahead and grab it. Anyone out there in PowerShell land that wants to check it out, make changes, make updates, much appreciated. I will take any and all pull requests. Thanks very much and uh, go DSC.